Okay, everyone, I take it back. Is it a bad idea to get married before you have a good amount of savings in the bank? You and Derek didn't have any money in the bank. <laughs> you we don't have any money now. We don't have any money now. <laughs> there might be more to that statement than I first realized. Hi everyone, Nemo here. That exchange between Jeffrey R. Holland and Bonnie H. Corden in front of the YSA in the church's West Africa area was covered in my previous video about the wealth of LDS church leaders. In that video, I addressed the obvious about this statement, that it was insensitive for those two people to laugh and joke about not having any money given their actual wealth and their audience. But then I thought there might be more to that statement. What else could Jeffrey R. Holland mean by We you don't have any money now. We don't have any money now. <laughs> as far as I can tell, Bonnie H. Gordon, as Young Women's General President, was not paid in the way that general authorities like Jeffrey R. Holland are paid. This is because while it is known that general authorities of the church are paid for their service, there is no evidence that I can find that the general officers of the church are paid. If you have any evidence that they're paid, please let me know in the comments and I'll pin it so that people know. And now that you're down in the comments checking to see if any evidence has emerged and whether I've pinned it or not, be sure that you like and subscribe. And if you're really feeling generous, please consider giving five or ten dollars a month at the donor box link to support this content. Now in the interest of balance, you could say that there is no evidence the general young men's presidency or the general Sunday school presidency are paid either. So in that sense, there is equality amongst the general officers of the church, right? Well, the difference immediately kicks back in when you realise that the three presidencies inclusive of women, Relief Society, Young Women's and Primary, are the highest possible position for women within the church. So yes, there are six male unpaid positions as general officers of the church, but they pale in comparison to the 95 paid male positions. And that is only since this announcement in 2004. With a recent decision that members of the quorums of the 70 not serve in the general presidencies of the Sunday School and Young Men, it is proposed that we sustain A. Roger Merrill as general president of the Sunday School, with Daniel K. Judd as first counselor and William D. Oswald as second counselor. It is also proposed that we sustain Charles W. Dahlquist as general president of the Young Men, with Dean Reed Burgess as first counselor and Michael Anton Nider as second counselor. Before that, women were the only unpaid ones. Of course, they may still be, because I'd be really interested to know whether if in 2004 the men taking over from the general authorities took over as unpaid volunteers doing the same job as their previously paid counterparts. Given the business background of a lot of these men, do you think they'd really stand for that? Let me know in the comments. And let's not forget, after the 2004 change, these men still have the chance to progress from potentially unpaid general officer to definitely paid general authority. It happened this year, in fact, when Ahmed Corbett went from the Young Men's General Presidency to General Authority 70 at the April 2023 General Conference. Effective immediately, we hereby release brothers Ahmed S. Corbett and Bradley Ray Wilcox from serving as first and second counselors in the Young Men General Presidency. It is proposed that we sustain the following as General Authority 70s. Ahmed S. Corbett. Three current apostles were at one point general officers during the time in which General Authority 70s served on those presidencies. One of them was Jeffrey R. Holland. So when Jeffrey R. Holland said, You and Derek didn't have any money in the bank. <laughs> you we don't have any money now. We don't have any money now. <laughs> it could well have been a thinly veiled reference to the fact that he is paid for his service and Bonnie Corden was not. Let me know what you think.